All right, so here we go. We got a Protoss, I'm Protoss versus Zerg matchup. Uh, opponent in the lower right. So I think he's, I'm just starting out here and I'm not, I'm planning on him opening gate first, but I, it just kind of depends on what I uh, see or what I want to do really. He's still just, all right, so he's gonna take his natural. Let's see. Yeah, doing a gate, a gateway open. So this is just like standard opening. And uh, moving in, I talked about this in another video. I don't know what's up with that. Uh, I see that there's a hatch going there and I decide to just take a chance at it. I don't know what's up with the Zerg players not moving their second overlord or, or at least a drone to scout around before you take that natural. So it's like, okay, it's not too late. Um, and then I'm gonna move him down there also because I wanna try to, a lot of times what'll happen is after you mess up this base, the Zerg will then later try to take a third. So that's what this one's for. He's gonna kinda try to really make his, uh, his day not very pleasant. So because the overlord's here and here, he just does not see that there is a pylon there. And um, you will see here, Ideally, you want this cannon to start about 75% of the way done. Now, he's moving out a drone already. He's planning on taking a third. Yep, he's scouting around with that drone a little bit, or he's just waiting until he gets 300 minerals. And then I move in because I'm just, I want to check. I have a feeling he's going to try to take a third. And, uh,. That's not a full wall yet. I think there's two spaces there, but I need two uh, zealots and you put them on hold position. So when he runs in lings, they can't get into your base. But now he finds out that that base is not gonna happen. I think he, after he heard the hive clubbers, clusters under attack, he's gonna take a second guess. He's like, ah, annoying, but I've got this. He doesn't know it's just the same old thing all over again. Particularly when you're a Zerg player and someone does that to you once, check your nest base because they're going to do it a lot of times but yeah if we check his vision still can't see it and then this time my timing's pretty good you know that's about right it'll be enough to uh, get the job done so right now let's see he's on 21 drones but he's still on one base so at least he's uh thinking that he's still in this because he's going to get the second base up. His second base finishes and yep, same thing. Got to start checking your hatches as they're building. And I've just in case you move this one, I'm moving this guy every now and every now and then just to check. You know, because I don't know if he's going to keep trying to take that basis of that or if he's just going to stay at home and try to build up as much as he can and just come in and attack. Get a... Uh, start getting a Stargate down. I'm still on one base. Yeah, and these guys are on hold positions. So if you tried to run Lings in, they... If you don't have on hold position, they can fool you by attacking your Zealots, run back when they come out here, and then they run by and get into your base. But hold position fixes that. So yeah, so he's taking down with Ravagers. He's just going to long range these cannons, which is fine. We're all tied on workers. That's actually a good move for him to go all the way over here and get the pylon first. Well, what am I doing? Yep, yeah, and let's see. My just trying to wait till I have money. What's oh no, I've already got. No. Yeah, and he's just down here checking. He's going to check every now and then for when a base comes in. I did start a little corner base up here. Yep, and then I'm going with a Void Ray. I'm just going to scout around. Hopefully there's some overlords flying around that I can get for free. You zealots, I feel like it's safe to just move out now and just see what's going on around his base. I'm only slightly up in workers, but he's thrown off his normal build. Our 
Okay, so he's now taking these bases. I really need to... Uh, I guess I am taking a second base, it's just hidden. But those zealots that were guarding my main ramp, now I'm just running in. I saw there was nothing to take there, so let's go in here and see what he can take. Look at that. Might ca catch a free queen. They're so slow off creep. Which is a really nice pickup. He can run, but that queen's gonna go down. Probably should have tried to keep circling around. In the meantime, he did find my probe just hiding there, but this void race taking care of business. He does try a nidus here. And I believe I don't know where it's at yet. Let's see, so right now I hear the sound of the nidus. I'm assuming it's somewhere in my main base. Recall the void ray at home. And I'm looking for it. I'm assuming it's in my base and I thought I'd have roaches or... Here they are. He did just outside my base. That probe's on hold position, which is nice. He doesn't have anything that can shoot up, so... A little bit of miss micro here. We're like, I need to get my void rays over there to help take care of this and clean this up. Like that right there. I don't know. Like, hello. Go ahead and finish the job with your void rays. I got one cannon in my main base for safety, but 29 workers to his 17. Feeling pretty good about this right now. He still doesn't know I have that base in the top right corner, so he might think I'm on one base. And, uh, yeah, gonna get the cancel on this. Or not the cancel, but just take out this base and get a queen. So, so he's gonna make some hydras so that he can shoot air. As this is going on, just micro back the hurt units. Kind of just too much. I see that going on, decide to back off. Yeah, time to back off. At this point, he's down to 13 workers, so this is kind of all she wrote. I know he's going to make a whole bunch of hydras, which will give my void rays problems, but as so long as I get some decent ground army to help out, take care of the hydras, it shouldn't be a problem. I think I'm going for uh, charge lots. Is that right? Yeah, that's what this is going to be. It's just a little ground help. But this all was kind of set up by the, by him not checking his hatches at the beginning of the game. Because now I can just fly around these void rays and as long as I'm careful I can just try to see what I can pick off. Nice dead area here for me to hang out and back off if I need to. Figure I'll just get a spawning pool, why not? Time to back off. Be nice if I had a shield battery somewhere nearby to kind of heal up those void rays. Fast forward a little bit. Oh, yeah. That was going to go start another base. Caught that. Yeah, in the meantime, while I'm trying to be annoying with my Void Rays, I'm just trying to uh, chrono out as many Zealots as possible. And then it's going to be sending them all in a second. So taking out that, he tried to hold on to this Nidus here.
But then when he sees those three uh, zealots with charge coming in, I think he probably should have wondered or assumed that there might be a big ground army heading his way. But I guess even if he does kind of fully gather it, it just really doesn't matter at this point. There goes all those anti-air. Um, not all those anti-air. But this next group, this next wave right here ought to do it. Yeah. After that, now my void rays can do whatever they want. And that's it. Yeah, and as this is going on, you can just kind of keep queuing up. Uh, we're trying to warp in some zealots and bring them on in.